out here with me if you want. You don't... Void woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they made it to shore. Bloody collars were supposed to keep those things at bay. Drowned and eaten by a void woken. I wonder in which order. Ha <laughs> ha! 
you spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood-red color. Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer, or a duelist. You lock eyes with his, two smouldering embers that sizzle your very soul. And a dutiful servant you are too. The chances are I wouldn't have survived that shipwreck. Did you not return to the aid of your master down that dreadful hole? You have my gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get... Ca Nevertheless, one good turn does deserve another, so as far as the whole slave business is concerned, let's just forget about it. You may as well have your freedom. Now then, if there's nothing further... I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but... I had thought it quite self-evident I was gazing out over the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell me, what do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Memories. Quite so. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. What do you mean, what do I mean? I mean just what I say. I had a very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? Oh, may the Seven have mercy on their own creation. I am the Red Prince. The all con Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Truly. A kind offer indeed. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. Fine, I accept. On one condition. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer. One of the mystics of my kind. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. You do tend to beat around the bush, don't you? Oh well, that wishy-washy answer will have to do then. So, now that that's settled, first thing, even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic, and yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Very well. Onwards, then, to victory or death. The Red Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Now, as you're away, you'll be travelling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. As your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado...
A black cat? Hello, kitty. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with its eyes clear. And it... I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them wringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. I never want to set foot on a stuffy old boat ever again. Never. Greetings, child. You must be very far from your homelands indeed. Hurts to be so far from your loved ones, eh? I know the feeling. No one's truly fine alone, my friend. Our father, who presideth Where over is us. he? Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape from the Tusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. This can't be serious, Alexander. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask. Elf. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness? I believe we're done here. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere.
hasn't changed a bit. Always late. A single name throbs across your brain. Verdas, Verdas, Verdas. He must escape. Hasn't changed a bit. Always late. She's gone. Gone. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. Did you see him? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. The Geists, dummy. The Hammer and Alexandra had two in tow just a moment ago. Ugh. Thought you lot would be interested in a thing like that. Got that right. It's a new dawn and a new order. Out with source, out with void, and in with the days of death. Now, why don't you move along and sell? I told him at noon exactly, didn't I?
job all day, Big City. Now you are. I find I need bread. I want no trouble. Bread or brisket. Your Griff teaches you. Dear one, help me teach this beast. He must respect. Respect? Huh. <laughs> Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan, who you met aboard the ship on the way here. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff. Especially not one of you. Burrow looks you both up and down, sizing up your combined threat. Ah, get out of here. The both of you. You ain't worth a sweat of my brow anyhow. The elf smiles and bows to you in thanks. Follow me, before more of them trouble us. There is a safe place. By all means, let us partake in the art of conversation. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. What are you after? Get bent. I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Found it in the scrap heap, not so... Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, 
She started turning out all manner of oddities. She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? All manner of things. Bolted on there tight, ain't it? Where's the oil? Ivan rolls his sleeves back down. He nods at you. The sh Good work there. Good work. I can tell you've got chops. Say, you were on the ship here. He stretches out one rough hand to shake yours. He grips your hand tight as a vice. Say, you don't look all that busy now that we're safely on dry land. I could use someone to watch my back. And it looks... I've just got a small errand to run. And then I'll be looking to get the hell out of here while I've still got a neck to collar. He shrugs, looking up. Mercenaries. It's a job. My job. Everyone needs to make a living. The little black cat trailing you hisses at him, hair raising a ridge along its back. Without batting an eyelid, the man rumbles a lupine growl. The cat hides behind your leg, mewling. That's the truth. For me, for you. Why not help each other get out of here? The usual way. Have two heads are better than one. And when push comes to shove, four fists are better than two, right? He grins, sharp teeth glittering in the... So, before we hit the road... It's best if we decide battle strategies up front. Should keep more of our blood in. Survival's my main priority. I'll use every trick in the book to keep us alive. But if a wayfarer is not what you're after, I've got other skills. What do you need? Can do. Onwards. He scans the horizon for threats with one green... Right you are. Exactly. 
saw what you did there, convincing Burrow not to lay down the law on that elf. Your kind stick together like stink on garbage, don't you? I'm sure you would have. Tired of the view in here yet? If Ant tips his fingers to his temples and saw. Is that indigestion or is it. Oh, gods. Not. Hey, I know you. Losa, the dark eyed jokes to you met aboard the ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then I was. <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube. And you were. You. <laughs> Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? I saw you fall. We all did. Thought you were done for. When we get out of this place, I owe you a pint. So you managed to swim to safety, is that it? What about when you were in the water? Didn't hear anything unusual did you i heard the same thing do you know what this means it means i'm not the only losa's voice catches in her throat the joy drains from her face her eyes lose focus she is stock still waxy skinned her eyes dark grayish black veins run from her eyes her head snaps to you mechanically and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body... Anyway, what were we talking about? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was a shipwreck, all right. Not much more to say about it, I guess. Papa Joris used to tell me, Losa, he'd say. Losa, you ever find yourself in a sinking ship? Follow the rats. They'll find... Applies to a lot of situations, actually. Vermin tend to know what's what. I've given a few shows around Reaper's Coast. Might be you saw a poster or a flyer. Might be you even heard about the, uh, incident. Well... I was giving this concert up on Overlook Hill. There was a great... But I guess it was too good. I had me a little sauce flare up. Everyone went a bit... I don't know. What? I snapped out of it before anyone got hurt, but the Magisters caught me backstage afterwards. Really? Are you hospitable too? Put it like this. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't... But I'm a... a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly late... Like a goddamn gold star inn for the disembodied. Now, isn't that just the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite, either. Maybe a spect. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Yeah? I was just thinking the same sort of thing. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength and numbers and all that. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve, so you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Lately I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? Sounds fine. So, we're good to go? Yeah? Well, that was easy.
The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine, avatar of the seven gods. You hear a strange sound, like a shrine, he has by the spoken. looks of it. Lucian has spoken the eternal prayer. It worked. with Griff's brutes anyhow. Oh. Ah, a little reprieve from the din outside. Thank you for your help with that, thug. Our kind of few here. We must help each other. She bows. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful... I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. In this cave, we trust the Healer. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. Wait, before you go, I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. Thank you.
heal him, but I do not... Whoever kills the other is the boss! You're cheating! But I do not see him. Sure, sure, sure. Got you. You cover your face with your hands. You've just heard the news. The elven homelands have been destroyed by death fog. It was your order who did it. How can this be? You can't get me. Approach the young elf, Losa suddenly grabs your arm. Her hand is damp. Her face looks pale and grey. Hey, listen, I, I don't know why, but, but I think I need to talk to this elf. You mind? She jerks her hand away. I don't... I can't... I, I just need to talk to her, okay? She turns towards Sahela. She darts over to the elf, and they begin talking in earnest, more quietly than you can overhear. Losa suddenly snatches up both the elf's hands and leans close to her. Her voice rises. You have to tell me. The whites of Losa's eyes fade to grey, then black. The colour runs into her veins, crisscrossing her skin like lightning. 
It rises in you even now, Losa. Do not let it. You must be strong. Be strong. You are okay. You are yours. No one else's. Shut up. Let go. I don't want to hurt her. Don't. Losa is rigid as a board, tense with the effort of holding Sahela's hands in tight. Pain. Leave me alone. Leave me. I don't want to. You are hurting me. Losa's eyes are black. Sahila's fingers are white. Let me go! <gasps> a sinister smile spreads across Losa's lips. She chatty, chatty elf. Chatty elf with all the answers. I wonder what your blood tastes like. Losa, please! You, you must not defend her. She wakes if she is weakened. We must hurt her to protect her, you see? Elf blood tastes like... Let's find out. You must weaken her to help her. not mean what she does. It is almost... She comes back to us when she is weaker. You okay? Yeah, thanks. I know they help. What? Don't look at me like that. Good. I don't. Let's keep moving. I want to get out of this bloody place as soon as possible. I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. I just want to get out of here. Let's go. The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. 
She smiles as though she recognizes you, though... Ah, hello. I see you come a long way. I see you come here seeking a great adventure. Do you find it? I see it before my eyes. <laughs> it is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. Your life is not your own. Your life is for us all. I cannot say more. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. My protector. My friend. And he is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. You bring me grit. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Yes, please ask. Oh, I do not cover my eyes. I cover the place they used to be. He is a very blind man. You understand when you meet him, after you escape. I it is safer here. We make no trouble for Friend, what do you need? No escapes. The in this cave, it gives me great pe Must put in due effort if one is to reap the proper reward.
The cat's eyes are clouded. It appears confused. What? What in the world are you? A millennium? Can it be? You're an elf, then. Remarkable, truly. I'd only heard of your kind from the stories. Strange to think it's been so long since I've been trapped here. A wicked king, it was. Bracchus Rex, by name. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle. Yet, my failure was absolute. I'm not fit to please, good lady. You must free me. Prize this spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. Seize the spear. End this degrad- Oh, it's stuck fast. Please, good lady, the spear. Oh, it's stuck fast. Please, good lady. Please, good lady. Oh, it's stuck fast. You! Tell me true. Stand you with the Source Hunters, or do you serve the tyrant Bracchus Rex? It hasn't. Though strange to think it's been so long since I've been trapped. A wicked kid. Yet, my please, good. Seize the spear. Please, good lady. Oh, it stuck fast. You! Tell me true. Stand you with the Source Hunters, or do you serve the tyrant Bracchus Rex? A thousand years? I haven't seen a living soul in a wicked kid yet. My place got sir. Seize the spear. Uh, ah, it's stuck far. Uh, ah, it's stuck far. Uh, ah, it's stuck fast.
Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you saw she was among the sorcerers with whom you fought the Voidwoken down in the hold of the sinking. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away, and you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Who are you? But you did, and now the tables have turned. You look quite startled to me. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice a flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a bad old time, a lizard cut this thing, this lid, but now I'm free of sorts. And I've traced that li I intend to raise the subject with him. No! She drives the needle in deeper and whispers. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you a needle feed. A bright sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. Ha! <laughs> How amusing. I admit I had not seen that twist coming. Make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you?
escape. <laughs> How you do tickle me. Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. <laughs> well played. Oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push? You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that lizard I mentioned. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles. Let's discuss our respective roles, then. You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide-and-seek. So, what role would you like me to play? As a rogue, my speciality is stealth, the quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So, the choice is yours. Suits me fine. Lead on, or better than follow me. But wait, you seem to have quite a few followers already. We'll be far too conspicuous traveling in a caravan like that. Return to me once you've culled a couple. Quite right. Do seek my counsel. I highly recommend it. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? Your loss. What took you so long? I'm ready to take up arms if you are. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sabeel in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side. For the... A moment's pause. I had thought us too wicked for rest. So this is Fort Joy. A delivery. Surely you'll have one. What a crumbling disaster. Scrab, snake face. Leave him be. Don't make me say it. Listen, I can help you if you just... Shut up, elf. This clown, you caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <clears throat> he'll talk or he'll die quiet. All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. Ain't been here long, have ya? He twirls his knife between his... Divine's gone. This blade is the only... Listen up. Not like this. There's too many of them. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine, avatar of the seven gods.
can't wait all day.